municipal budget is increased by 2.36%. This is below the allowable 2010 levy cap. The 2019 municipal appropriations inside the cap was also below the allowable 1977 appropriations cap. This was attributed to a decrease in health insurance premiums, decreases in professional fees due to final agreements with our affordable housing litigation, and this is in spite of a large increase in recycling costs due to the recent decline in available markets for such materials. So last year we uh, uh, paid out over $25,000 that was not budgeted, and uh, this year we anticipate around $30,000 to, to get rid of our recycling. That's a huge number to swallow. This budget allows for an aggressive pay down of municipal debt and also allows for the municipality to fully fund most of our 2019 capital projects and for the acquisition of a new fire truck. The estimated impact in 2019 on the average home valued at $438,921 would be an increase of $79 in property tax from last year. On an estimated value of $400,000, that would be an increase of $72 in property tax from the last year. The borough has seen an increase in rate of bills of $1,210,100 between 2019 and 2018. This budget was compiled with looking ahead numerous years and also looking back to prior history as far as revenues that could be anticipated. After reviewing and analyzing both revenues and expenditures, both historically and for what is anticipated for 2019, the borough has a 2019 budget that is both conservative and meets the needs of the residents. This budget leaves the municipality in good position and we look forward to a bright future. I'd like to thank Anna, the Finance Department, the Finance Committee, and our auditory, auditor Valerie Dolan and her staff for all their efforts and guidance. Thank you to you all. I'd like to open a public hearing on the introduction of the budget. Seeing no, nobody, I close the public hearing on the introduction of the budget and ask Councilman Braun to move the resolution. I move the adoption of the